I'm sharing some really easy and delicious dinner recipes with you. If you're new here, I'm Amy, I'm a wife and a mom, and I really love sharing what I'm cooking for my family over here in my kitchen. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. These dinners are just so easy, so quick to come together, and they're healthy, really tasty. Check out the description for the recipes, calories, and WW points, and let's go ahead and get started. Tonight for dinner, I'm making tostadas. Here are all of the ingredients. I'm also gonna use ground beef. I don't have that out right now, but I have some corn tortillas. I don't have taco seasoning, but I got this as like a free sample from one of my grocery pickup orders. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Um, it is, you know, taco and not, I'm not making carnitas, but it looks like the ingredients are somewhat similar. Also pretty different, but I think that'll be really good. But I would use taco seasoning if I had it. And then I'm going to use some pinto beans that I cooked up probably a month or a month and a half ago. I do have a, vi have a video where I included that, so I will link that below. Some cheese, I do have reduced fat and regular, some lettuce, and then I just chopped up some tomatoes earlier and I have some sour cream. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up the ground beef. The ground beef is cooked through. I'm gonna add that seasoning packet. I'm gonna give it a nice stir and then I'm just going to kind of let it sit on low heat. I might add a tiny bit of water also just to make sure it doesn't get dried out. And then I'll just let it sit for a few minutes while I get those tortillas ready to go in the oven. And then I'm gonna get the tortillas ready. I'm going to bake the tortillas in the oven, spray them with some oil spray. You could also just use olive oil and just kind of use a brush and just brush the oil on. And I just wanna get the tortillas nice and crispy. And this recipe should come together very quickly. It's really easy and I'm really excited. It's just kind of a nice twist on tacos, something that I do not make often at all. I don't know the last time I've made tostadas, but I'm really excited. So once the tortillas are nice and crispy, the meat is all the way done, I'm gonna just put everything together and add all of those toppings on there. Definitely add whatever kind of toppings you'd like if you make this. Use whatever kind of meat you'd like or keep it vegetarian. There's tons of options, but I can't wait to try this. This was a really delicious dinner and it came together so quickly. I'll definitely be making this again for sure. I'm gonna make a really simple meal. I have these frozen meatballs and I'm just gonna dump them on this tray, bake them in the oven. I'm just gonna follow the back of the instructions. You could definitely use chicken breast, ground chicken, turkey, anything you'd like. This is gonna be a little bit higher in points just because I'm using meatballs rather than making my own but I'm just doing this for convenience. While the meatballs are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make the coleslaw. So I just bought prepared coleslaw, like pre-cut up cabbage and carrot. And I'm gonna add some extra carrots just because I have these in the fridge. Okay, now we're gonna add the dressing. I am skipping the mayo and I'm just using whole milk plain yogurt. It's not Greek yogurt just because I don't want that kind of tart flavor, but I'm gonna add some of that and some tamari. I love using tamari in coleslaw. It adds like a really nice rich depth of flavor. It's kind of like a soy sauce. I'm doing okay. some pepper, some salt, and then for something different, I thought I would add some raisins. I just thought the raisins might add a more kind of that fruity flavor, add a really nice texture to it. I really like broccoli slaw or broccoli salad that has raisins. So I thought that would be a nice addition. So I'm gonna mix this really well. I don't want it to be super creamy. 
um, but I'm gonna mix it. I might add some sugar or some monk fruit sweetener if I think it needs it. I just realized I forgot vinegar, so I'm gonna add some vinegar. And I'm gonna add a touch of monk fruit sweetener, about a teaspoon. This looks really good, it's ready to go. I'm gonna store it in the fridge until we're gonna eat in a couple of hours. Next, I got the meatballs ready. Once they were fully cooked, I just put some barbecue sauce on them while they were still hot, and that was it. I just decided to put everything in a bowl, kind of like a deconstructed barbecue sandwich. So I put um, a bat of rice down, the coleslaw, the barbecue meatballs, a touch of ranch on top. It was really tasty. I loved all of the components together, and the coleslaw just kind of added a nice crunch, bright texture and flavor. And so yeah, this was really, really tasty. For this Cajun chicken pasta dish, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop the veggies. So first the onion and then pepper. I'm basing this recipe off of one I found online, but I am making a lot of changes. So I will include a link to the original recipe and all of the ingredients that I'm using in my recipe that's a bit healthier and lower in points. I'm gonna go ahead, add about a tablespoon of water to the onions in a bowl. And I'm just gonna cover it with a reusable napkin and I'm gonna cook it in the microwave for about three minutes. I just wanna kind of steam the onion basically so I'm not putting raw onion in the slow cooker. The onion so you can see it's translucent so it is cooked so I do a lot of the time just throw raw onion and pepper in the crock pot but I'm just doing this today and I'm actually gonna do the same thing with the pepper and just steam that in the microwave as well in the crock pot I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm gonna add the chicken breast to the bottom I have about one and a quarter pounds of chicken breast here and I'm gonna add about one and a half tablespoons of Cajun seasoning to the top of the chicken. And I don't have any fresh garlic, but if you had a fresh garlic, you could go ahead and use that. I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of just ground garlic. I'm also gonna add oregano. I just really like oregano with kind of spicier flavors. So I think this will just kind of be a nice addition. I might add more Cajun seasoning in a little while after I try it, but I'd rather go on the edge of caution than add too much. Just because we don't love a lot of heat over here, um, I'm gonna add the onions and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the red peppers. And then a whole container of chicken broth, so it's four cups. And that's it. We have more ingredients like some cheese, milk, that sort of thing that I'm gonna add after I cook this for four to five hours just because I don't want it to burn or curdle. I just turned this on less than five minutes ago and I realized I forgot to add tomatoes, so I'm actually gonna add I'm actually gonna add some diced tomatoes as well. My water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump in the pasta. I'm gonna do the pasta separately just because I don't want it to get overcooked. It's been five and a half hours. I'm gonna take the lid off and shred up the chicken. Now I'm gonna add in the cheese. So this is Parmesan, some whipped cream cheese. It's a bit lower in points than just regular cream cheese, so I thought this would be a good change. Now I'm gonna turn the crock pot completely off. It's gonna be pretty hot, I think, anyway, for a while. And so the chicken will kind of soak up some of the juices. It'll get a little bit thicker. All of the cheese and the cream cheese will melt together. I decided to go ahead and add the pasta at this point. I also added a whole bunch of parsley. The recipe calls for fresh parsley. I was out, so I just used dried parsley. But we loved this recipe. The one thing I would say is that since I didn't cook the pasta in the crock pot directly, I did not need so much liquid. So I definitely would have cut the chicken broth probably in half. It was really good the next day in terms of the amount of liquid, but the first day we ate it, it was just a little bit thin. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed these super easy recipes. And I even thought the crock pot recipe is perfect for this kind of warmer time of year, just because, you know, it's nice not to have to heat up the house with the oven. 
Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it. I love sharing recipes with you and I'll see you next time.